So this is um, how we crush our corks up to, to make the, the middle of the balls. So it looks a bit like a garden shredder to me. This exactly is a garden shredder. Kindly donated by one of the members. The members have managed to find a few of these to donate. Yeah, well. some good vintage. Doesn't have to be champagne corks, but it always helps. So uh, <laughs> prepare to be deafened. Some nice chopped corks to go in our old cloths to make the centre of the ball. So, to begin with, they get an old cloth from an old ball we've used before. We fill that with crushed cork. So, a few years ago, we had a, a drive for corks. We were short of corks to make new balls, so members have saved them at home. And brought what's in. So there's no shortage of those in Cambridge? <laughs> no, there's definitely not. <laughs> not with our members, anyway. You won't actually see this part of the ball. This is the very centre. So it's probably 25. Perfect. So that's just a, an old racket that's um, been been cut and shaved down that we use. It's a good way to grip to grip the string because you have to pull pretty pretty tight when we and tie the ball. So first of all, I go around once, then I halve it again, and now I start going around twice. Or I'm going through the, the middle of those squares, double tying again. This is a cork, but the cork squeezed very, very tightly, and come back, and that's what makes the ball give it, give it some bounce. It's just cotton bedding tape, and again, it's pretty pretty robust, it's pretty strong. The ball and the cotton tape should take the ball's weight up to 58 grams. Now I have to get the cotton tape wrapped around the core equally, so it's very spherical, there's no bumps, and then you're just trying to cover, put it very tight. This is a bit of an arm burner, this one. Can't really make more than four or five a day, really. About there, perfect. It's pretty tight, but now I have to hit it with a hammer to loosen it all off to start to start pulling it again even tighter. So back over to the horse. And again, once I do it with a big hammer, it tends to leave flat spots. Try not to go over that. the same bit again and again. Members of the inside, we're trying to start off by halving the ball. Yeah, go around twice again. So once, I look to halve the ball again. And again, I'll just give that a bit of a quick knock to make sure it stays, stays round. Okay. Now we're going to go through each line. Well, that's the second part. Now I need to go through these squares. Okay, for the last time, we only just do that once this time. There. Again, last time round. There. Just to make sure it's the right weight, it should be 60. This part of the ball, the centre of the ball, this is complete, will last for about 10 years. So after this, uh, we need to tack the cover onto the ball. So this is our press that we uh, cut our, our figure of eight patterns out for the, for the ball, so. So the felt itself will, will last for about two weeks, depending on, depending on how many hours a day the balls get, get used. Um, so yeah, then the old cover's just taken off. New cover put back on. And now you're sending these off to be stitched up in Poland? Yeah, right? yeah. We have a member who has a factory in Poland, the lorry goes out, 
once a week and comes back, so we we send them out there. Okay. Just tack him on the cover. Making sure you you pull the cover really tight again. Again, if the cover's not put on tight, the ball ends up looking a bit like a lemon. It goes very loose very quickly. Uh, we want these balls to last at least two to three weeks, and if they're not pulled on very tight, they won't last two to three days. So. It's about half an hour to 40 minutes per, per ball. Um, so now the strings about an arm's distance of string. Needle. Okay, so you pull through. And you don't want to pull that knot shut. So then you go through the bottom, making sure you go through the knot and then up through the top. And put it tight. And you are pulling it very tight. You want the the, the stitches to be very flat. So the majority are, are done in Poland, so it's, uh, we've got about 13 sets in stock, which is really healthy. And so the set is? 60 balls. Six. And each ball is roughly about £10 each, because of the man hours and the materials that go in. So mm. We have to finish the ball, so we have to go with a pair of pliers without pricking yourself right the way through. That gets pulled, pulled tight. Then that gets pushed back through the ball again. So now we don't need the, the tacks. Tacks can be taken out. Right, 72, 73, perfect. Nice size, nice weight, and uh, should last a couple of weeks.